Hey everyone, I'm Kiri from Funime and I'm going to be showing you how to use FSMB. So with this new update, it creates a smooth motion blur, which is what it stands for, Funime Smooth Motion Blur. And I'll show you what it looks like in comparison to an edit without motion blur and how to use it, the basics. So the edit on the left is with the motion blur and the one on the right is without. So you can see the one on the left is a lot smoother, has an even amount of blur compared to the one on the right, which is more unsmooth, looks a bit less choppy, even though it isn't, but compared to the one with the motion blur, it is. So I'm gonna show you where to find it. So I'm, you're gonna add a video because you can only apply it to videos, but I'm just gonna add this edit. This is the one without the blur. So where you find it is you scroll at the bottom until you find the FSMB tab. Now, there's three types of blurs. So you can do both, trailing and leading. So if I move it to a part where there's a lot of motion, you can see this is the both, this is trailing, and this is leading. So the trailing's like a bit before the video and leading's like a bit after. But I like using both because it looks a lot nicer in my opinion. Now these are the default settings, the intensity at one and the opacity at 100. Now. This is up to you, up to how much blur you want on your edit, how you want it to look. I like using 0.8 as the intensity, because it's not too much blur, but then it's just a good amount. Or sometimes I use 0.7 if I want a bit less. Now, the opacity. I'll show you what the opacity does. So if I put the intensity to the full, and then increase the opacity, there's a lot of blur. If I put the intensity down, there's a lot less. If I put the opacity down, there's a lot less. So you can basically just play around with it, find the settings that you like, and then you can always apply them to your edit. So I'm just gonna put this at 85 and this at 0.8. Now I'm not gonna go through the trailing and leading because they are quite similar, but they also have quite cool effects. So you just play around with them See how you like, find the best option for you. So now we're just gonna click the tick and wait for it to load. It does take a minute or so to load, but it's worth it in the end. And there we go. So this is what it looks like. Similar to the first one, because I did put a couple different settings, but it is, really useful it really does make a difference to your edits it makes it so much smoother and it's just like a final touch um i hope you guys like this video and i hope it helps a lot and we can't wait to see all your new edits with the fun motion blur thanks for watching